Hi, this is Craig Davis and Dusty Dar with AARP Oklahoma, and we have some updates about what's been happening in the legislature. A couple of priority bills for AARP have been passed and signed into law by the governor, and the first bill that we want to talk about is House Bill 2566. That's right, House Bill 2566, been one of our top bills all session, authored by Harold Wright, representative from Weatherford, and Senator Tom Ivester. Uh, this bill basically says that an assisted living facility cannot penalize or assess a fee to a resident if they want to use their own doctor or pharmacy. Uh, we decided to support this bill because we had heard a number of stories of assisted living facilities across the state charging as much as $150, sometimes $200 a month for folks, uh, usually private pay, uh, that want to use their own pharmacy. So this really goes along with AARP's long-term care and home and community-based priorities. That's right. We were really uh, excited that Governor Fallon signed that bill this week. And the second bill that Governor Fallon signed into law was House Bill 2270 that has to do with some nursing home uh, fees. Is that correct? That's right. This is a really important bill. Uh, we've been very involved with this bill as well throughout the session. It's authored by Senator Rob Johnson from Kingfisher and Representative Doug Cox, who's one of the only physicians in the legislature. And it, res uh, it relates to the nursing home quality of care fee. Uh, nursing homes haven't had a fee increase in quite some time. And what this does is it raises the, the, the fee that, that they're able to uh, get, which will ge generate somewhere around $19, 20000000 million in state funds that can be then be leveraged to get about 30 some odd million dollars in federal funds. I think the exact total is about 53.6 million. Uh, the exciting thing about that is that those funds will then be used to increase staffing in our nursing homes in accordance with statute. So that's good news all the way around. It is. All right, now to the fingerprinting bill, House Bill 2582. Well, this has been a big bill for us all session. Uh, most of our volunteers have been very, very engaged in this bill. We've had numerous challenges throughout the legislative session. We were involved, as many might remember, back in February and, and helping revive this bill. Once it went down on the House floor, we were able to pass it out of the House, um, you know, coincidentally on the same day as our, our ARP day at the Capitol. So it's, it's just been a challenge uh, throughout the process. Fortunately, it has been sent to conference committee, and it's looking like we're making some headway on language. The conferees were named uh, by the Senate last week, and we feel pretty good, or earlier this week, rather. Uh, we feel pretty good that, that the conferees will be able to come to some kind of agreement. Uh, we're currently negotiating the language, and as soon as the language is set for review by the committee, we're going to let our members know. Okay, so about two more weeks to go. Two more weeks to go. Uh, the session has to end no later than 5 o'clock on Friday the 25th. All right. Well, thanks for the quick update, Dusty, on these bills. And we will send more information out to you via our YouTube channel. And you can always find more information if you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and, of course, our AARP website, which is aarp.org slash OK. And that's all for our update this time. Thanks, Greg.